Hey guys, it's uh, Sudo here. So um, I'm going to give you a quick demo um, on the HSC application that I wrote here in Python um, for OpenCV. And so um, what you're seeing right now is a live feed of pipeline from my uh, webcam. Um, and these, by using these uh, three track bars over here, we can actually adjust the um, HSMV value. Of that pipeline, so A stands for U, S for saturation, and V for value. And so, by adjusting these three values, we can actually adjust the um, lower threshold. So, over down here, you can see the lower threshold of the incoming pipeline. So, what I'm going to do, I have a little um, tennis ball, uh, not a tennis ball, ping pong ball, it's green. And we're going to try and adjust these values to where we can only detect the green. Uh, we might get a bit of noise because the algorithm algorithm isn't perfect, but um, you guys will get the point. You can adjust it accordingly to your uh, suited applications. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the H value and I'm going to set it to. I already you know wrote down some of the values down here, so that's what I'm glad we got. 85 and you can see the wall and the door frame and other features are starting to disappear the s i'm going to take that to about a hundred and seventy five i believe yep and 174 is fine and then the v i'm actually going to raise that up 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 and up to the, the give or take 180 mark so as you can see you can read the emblem on my hat there but you can also see the my hands blocking but you can also see the um the ball there in the frame and what this is going to allow us to do now is we can actually just track that ball sorry i keep blocking with my fingers but you can actually track the ball um up and down the frame and by doing this by by using these hsv values um, it's going to allow you to do um, color tracking um, and which is fairly useful in a bunch of different applications so if you want to track an object you can track it via its you know its color um, it's quite an interesting application so like i said i'll link the, the code down in the description below and um, it'll be linked to my github and you guys will have access to that um, and uh, so let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Um, thank you and have a good one.